this video, I'm going to take a look at the Sonic Real Phones, which is a headphone calibration and room emulation software that's highly customizable. Um, and I'll walk through the different features on it. it. Comes with a bunch of really cool presets. So if you've got uh, just a generic set of closed back headphones, this profile should work okay with with them. It'll not be 100% accurate because it's obviously generic, but It'll give you an idea. That doesn't sound bad either. The headphones that I'm using at the minute are the uh, M50X, and at the minute I'll shift to uh, their specific calibration profile whenever I walk through the basic features here. Um. So yeah, if I hit play. these left and right buttons here, either you can open them up and load them from here by double clicking, or you can just hit these left and right icons. So there we've got a lo-fi, I'll go back to the start here, so basic mixing, optimized correction, standard width. Correction standard width. Clean correction standard width. So I'll show you on the interface here. Let's extend the, the width of the speakers. And then if I switch it to the next one. It's adjusted the speaker width and a bunch of other different features. Basically with these you've got a lot of different sort of reference environments. Take this one, the optimized correction, and so you have your different sections here. Well, all of them can be disabled pretty much. Or blended. Click here to change what you actually want to see. So if you want to see the, the correction curve or the room or the simulation. When you 
adjust the correction, it'll switch to that. Then you've got your ambience. So if you want to adjust the frequency curve, the twist. Double click on any of the settings that you've changed to reset them to the default. Density. This is of the speaker curve or speaker response. a clear indication of what it's doing on the actual sort of EQ graph that appears when you start adjusting things. I guess that's the sides. Switch left and right. Low end. Mid. High end. Again, all these sections can be disabled, so you either when you're over the top of them, you can see the, the on off switch. snapshot and have that as my one of my shot snapshots and then I could make another profile and load it into the next slot then you have different setups here just by clicking left or right here you can switch between the different speakers near field, mid field, and far field. Then here you can switch speakers.
favorites, I'll switch over to the M50X profile and then let you hear. If you've got M50Xs, you'll be able to hear the difference between the generic closed and the actual custom profile for M50Xs. Um, as far as I'm aware, they cover a good variety of different headphones. Um, probably, the, you know, the better reference headphones you have to start with, the better the results will be. M50Xs are okay, but they're not, you know, they're, they're fairly entry level. So yeah, back in a sec. Okay. So I've got the M50X profile here and we'll just hear the difference. <laughs>
All right. So there are a few different options with it. Um, for £41, you get the real phones plugin plus the generic closed and generic open profiles. And for £62, you get the generic open, the generic closed, and then you can select three headphone calibration profiles for headphones that you own. Um, let's see. So they have a decent list of supported headphones, AKG models, Apple models, Audis, Artesia, Audio Technica, Bear Dynamic, Bose, Denon, Focals, I'll put a link in the description. You can see what all the different supported models are. HD 650s. So yeah, there's a decent amount of supported headphones there. And even if your you know headphones aren't fully supported, you have the generic profile, which given how customizable and tweakable it is, it's, it's easy to get a, a good reference mix for uh, either mixing on or reference in your mixes through so yeah cool software check it out cheers